friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. This is a totally unedited surgery. This is the stereo coaxial illumination of Lumera T microscope. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is phenocane. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Phenocane contains gelocane tropicamide and phenylephrin. Here goes the 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. The patient is moving his eye a lot but he is following instructions very nicely. And now it's the time to do capsular excess. Here goes the uterator forceps. Get a flap. Guide this flap to get an adequate size rexus. In this case, the size of the rexus is about 5.75 millimeter. And now is the time to do hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done. Fluid wave goes to the other side, nucleus is tapped, the fluid wave comes along the equator anteriorly. And now some more visco, and this is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. Friends, this is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything. It is real time and neither fast nor slow. And here goes the FECO needle with its bevel down. I go bevel down, aspirate some cortex and then I make the bevel up. So here goes bevel down phaco needle, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now I turn the handpiece to make the bevel up and in this case I am just chopping and eating up. Here it is, first cut second cut and eat this piece, third cut and eat this piece. So this is cut and each time emulsify the piece. When the cataract is like this grade 2 plus or grade 3, we can do this. In hard cataracts, probably it is better to get complete two halves and at least four fragments then start emulsification of the nuclear pieces. And now this is the epinucleus, it comes out easily. And now is the time to do cortical cleanup. With stereo coaxial illumination, the depth perception is much better. Stereopsis is much better. So here it is. I am aspirating the anterior, holding the anterior part of the cortex and pulling it towards the center. Uh, each time I find, check whether the jonule is remaining okay or not. Sometimes if we hold the capsule and make a charky pull, there can be jonular tear. Now I go through the side port and remove this cortex and it is done. And now I introduce the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and do hydro polish. Hydro polish means the irrigating jet of fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and whatever cells are sticking to the posterior capsule, they get dislodged. And now is the time to enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter. It is 2.8, it is 3 now. When the, when the wound is 3 millimeter, we can use a B cartridge and the optic of the lens is not compressed too much. So I prefer to use the B cartridge so that the optic is not squeezed too much. Sometimes the optic is squeezed so much that it comes out like very narrow and there are compression marks on the 
optic of the intraocular lens. All the visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge are irrigated out and now we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. I now I close the side port, hydrate the corneal stroma and close the side port. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The final lavage is done with the 23 gauze Simco cannula. And then the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the intraocular pressure is on the higher side. The eyeball should be formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.